legend Leon Rogers with me today. Got a good friend of mine, man, Mr. Simeon Henderson. Y'all show him some love. This brother's been doing a lot of work at the extraordinaire. We just won uh, for Black and Privilege, Volume 1, Best Independent Film at the HAP Awards. That's the Hollywood African Prestigious Awards in L.A. this past weekend. And you've done it all. You've been a police officer. Oh, man. You've been a teacher. Yeah. Uh, played football, yeah. college. And uh, a little bit of pro. And a little bit of pro. Yep. <laughs> I, I, talk about your journey, man. How did you get here? To winning awards like the Happy Awards. They call me Slash. Okay. But um, I, real quickly, I just want to say big shout out to Mark Harris, who's the writer and yes. director of Black and Privilege. One of Chicago's finest. Yep. Yes, and absolutely. Then, um, all of our, every, all of the cast and crew, great job, man. It was just awesome. But um, man, I remember growing up, I uh, couldn't read till I was in sixth grade, man, and and I was determined not to let someone's opinion become my reality. So everybody, every time someone told me what I couldn't do, I was determined to do it. And so henceforth, I wanted to be a teacher and a um, police officer because I always wanted to help my neighborhood. And um, I did both and realized I didn't want to be a police officer anymore. Right. Shout out to my fraternity brother, uh, Eddie Johnson. But um, And I started teaching and I stayed in that and I do the motivational speaking. I'm still in the CTU, right. so when they were on strike, I was out there with them, but I was still doing my thing as well. Gotcha. But it's just one of those things where I've always wanted to help people. And then I got into the, the acting. I started at Second City, you know, and now I, I host a lot of things and do a little comedy, but the acting was something that it helped me because I learned by, by memorization. So I was like, then I started, you know, I was always a little crazy and I, you know, always acted a fool. So I figured I'd put it to work and I got my first start working on Barbershop, which you yeah. were there. Yeah, <laughs> shout out 2001. Um, Sharon King. Talk about, yeah, Sharon King, love her. She did a lot for a lot of careers in Chicago, yes, her yes. and Mary Lindsay. Yes. Talk about uh, Black and Privileged, the movie, the film. What can people expect when they watch this film, which is on Netflix right yes, now, streaming yes. all, a lot of platforms, Man, all the platforms. It was, it was number one. That, uh, it was the number seven most watched uh, thing on Netflix for like two or three weeks straight, which is huge because there's a million things on Netflix right. and um, but what they can expect is with black and privilege is it talks about Inglewood and I'm from the west side it talks about Inglewood yeah. but it talks about um, building up your own neighborhoods redlining and gentrification and uh, starting your own businesses policing your own neighborhood and just showing people how they can get more and get do better together it also uh, when I watched the film it also kind of Flip stereotypes a little oh, yeah. bit. Talk about that <laughs> aspect of the movie. So I played uh, Samad Poole, so I was a bougie brother, but I was from the hood, but um, so it was like one of those things, it's almost like the have and have nots, and um, the classification of, um, of um, what you should expect when you're living in a certain neighborhood. Ex that exactly. What's coming into the neighborhood right, right now. And, then, and you see people coming into the neighborhood who you don't feel fit the neighborhood. So one of two things are going to happen. Either they're going to conform to the neighborhood and do what we do, or they got to go. You know what? I think a, a lot of people always say you have to go to L.A. or New York to make it. I think you... Uh, along with Twister, some other guys out here that I know and love are prime examples of how you can be <clears throat> successful right mm -hmm. here uh, in your own city. What has been some of your struggles of coming up right here in Chicago, if, if any? So I, I've, I've had struggles, Leon, but I, I'm a firm believer in what's for you is for you. And I've always helped people and been there for people. And I believe that uh, my thing is be symbolic. And uh, it means being deeply rooted stimulates growth. I believe it's like seed time and harvest. When you plant the seed and you water and you cultivate it, it has no choice but to grow. And I decided that I was going to do everything I could here and show and just wait my time and be patient. And now that I've waited my time, I've gone out to LA, I've gotten in a union, and, and I've gone there to do movies and, and work with big people. Got a movie coming out with Roger Bob, uh, Holiday Heist this um, December. Where can people find you at on Instagram, social media? Oh man, at Simeon Henderson, everywhere, S-I-M-E-O-N, Simeon Henderson, AKA Mr. Chicago, or Be Symbolic. Wonderful show too on Facebook, brother. Oh, Thank you. I'm and I got something you. for you. Yeah, Be Symbolic, yes. man. Hey, yeah. we'll be right back. More Letter with Leon, my man, Simeon Henderson. My man. Appreciate you, brother, man, all the time. You. Thank yeah. you, love.